Good day and welcome to Motor Rose Music. I am Jeff Thiel, the host of the show. Today, we've got another one from West Creek. Uh, you may have seen my uh, video I did uh, a couple of months ago on this uh, West Creek 333. It's a semi-hollow guitar and uh, still love that guitar. It's a great great budget price guitar but today it's about a west creek dc and what they're alluding to there is the les paul jr double cutaway there's the dc i paid a huge 169 dollars for that uh for this and uh I, they have coupons out there now i see uh for like 30 bucks so you may be able to get them cheaper but i know they're going for 169 i just looked today as of this recording there are about 20 left there was a pink which is the one i got uh a white and a blue it's kind of like a pelham blue or uh, maybe a maui blue whatever but this particular guitar has a p90 a bone nut rounded medium jumbo frets and that is something i just can't wrap my mind around that guitars this was um 179 this one being 169 how they do their frets so well these rounded frets i, I mean they're smooth anyways then this has a, a rosewood fingerboard a maple neck and a mahogany body and it's got the uh wrap around bridge uh like the les paul juniors had don't know if i'm gonna get used to that or not so anyways uh and this thing at 160 dollars this will 69 dollars this will come as no shock to you that this thing was made in china so that's the way that goes so let's get rid of this box hopefully that didn't fall over and let's reveal there it is in pink, the West Creek DC. My wife said, and I, I, I agree, this, it, it's a bubblegum pink. Hopefully it's coming out well. I'll try to make sure that the, the lights don't reflect in it too much. And of course I'll have pictures of this. But uh, I've kind of given this the once over. Uh, as you can see, I already had it out of the box. I didn't think I needed to do some grand reveal or anything. Um, but I will tell you, I'll, I'll start with the frets. I'll start with the, uh, you know, the, the, the real good with this thing. Um, the, it, it's amazing to me that for a guitar this price, you know, even, even with it being made in China, that they could have frets that look like this. I mean, they are perfectly round, nice and shiny. Uh, I mean, they're like, uh, they're like a mirror, uh, you know, that they're, they're so uh, well done. I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I look at them. To me, it looks like, and I know they, they couldn't possibly do this. It almost looks like, you know, they have the frets pre-cut, pre-rounded, and then they put them on here. They, I mean, they look that good. I, you know, I've, my, my Les Paul standard in my, you know, my strats, the frets don't look good, is as good as they do on both of these West Creeks. It's not just this, it's this one too. I mean, uh, and I've seen, you know, another video where somebody said the same thing. Uh, you know, it's just, it's amazing. I, I don't know how they do the frets, but they do them good. Um, so, and as far as, you know, the body and the paint, all that looks, you know, it looks good too. Um, there's no, uh, there's no flaws in it. Uh, everything seems to be covered up real well. Um, you know, the pick guards uh, cut nice. It's, you know, it's not perfect, but 169 bucks. It is a three ply uh, pick guard, a black, white, black. Um, pickup looks good. Um, you know, I, I the, uh, the only thing that I see that is a bit sketchy on this, uh, well, two things, it, and it has to do with the fretboard here. The, 
there's there's like chipping on the on the side of the fretboard. This almost looks like binding to me, like they put black binding on the edge of this this fingerboard, and it it looks like there was uh, you know a clear put over it, you know like a finish. Uh, that went over this and perhaps when they sprayed the body You know it got on the sides here, but it's definitely looks like and I can kind of pick some of it off So that was that's kind of one of the you know, that's uh, of the two things I can really pick on it It's that and this is you know a a rosewood fingerboard fretboard But damn it sure doesn't look like it um, you know, I have the pictures there. It, it almost look, it, it, it's really dark. It, it, it almost looks like ebony of some sort, but it's kind of got a crackly finish. Like it's almost a, uh, if you've ever seen rich light, that's like an, uh, a faux ebony. Now it's not that smooth. This, this, it, it, it just looks like old dried up ebony or something. If you see the pictures. Now it doesn't, it doesn't feel bad, you know. Um, it's it's still pretty smooth, and 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 the you know the frets help it because they're really smooth. But it just looks odd to me because I, you know, I've got this West Creek here, and it has rosewood, and there's no doubt this is rosewood. It's beautiful on here. It, it you know it 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 looks like you know, rosewood that's on my, uh, my Les Paul standard. Uh, so I, I'm not sure what happened with, uh, you know, this, this West Creek guitar, but, uh, it's just a little, just looks funny. Doesn't play bad. Looks weird. Uh, the tuners on here are your, you know, Grover imitation Grovers. Uh, and they work quite well. Uh, I, I had to tighten uh, some up. Not that they're real loose. I just like the tuning keys to be a little bit tighter. Not real tight, but I don't like it to turn too easy. So I, I tightened. There was two that were uh, noticeably looser uh, than the other four. But uh, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and... Uh, Let's hear how it sounds. Let's see what this P90 can do. Do it right next. All right, we're back. We got this thing plugged in. Let me first tell you, I've got this plugged into a, uh, a Fender Deluxe Reverb. It is a Silver Face a Deluxe Reverb, so it's supposed to. It's more like the uh, 68 Deluxe Reverbs. Uh, and I am going into a Spark Boost by D DC, DC, this is a DC, TC Electronic. And I'm for uh, some, uh, some extra gain. I am in a, uh, what is this thing called? A Golden Horse by Mosky or Mosky. I'm assuming it's Mosky. Could be Mosky. And uh, that, I will, uh, that's your, uh, one of the... Uh, Clon clones. Uh, and that's about it. I'll have some uh, nice reverb from the Fender. So let's do this. I'm going to turn all the, the effects off and let's just see what this thing will do with some just plain old chords here. It's a nice sound, this uh, P90. Um, it, you know, this is the, the first P90 I've ever owned in my 52 years and 30-some years of playing. Never had a P90 before, but I've got one now, and it only took, you know, 30-some 30, 30 years. 
And it, yeah, I, I like the way it sounds. This thing sounds pretty clear. Um, I, you know, I, since I've never had one before, I'm sure there's, I'm quite certain there are ones that better, but not better for $169. Let's give it a little boost here. And, uh, you can tell there that just gives it a little bit more juice. Um, dang, like I went country there for a second. What the hell was that? Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, that, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good sound. Uh, good clean sound. Uh, it's not, uh, this thing's not really that noisy, I'm sure. Let, let's turn on some more gain here. Uh, let's hit it with the, uh, the golden horse. Not too much gain just yet. And see what this sounds like with a little bit more juice to it. Sounds good. I like it. Uh, I, I will say this. This has got a, a, a pretty fat neck on it. Uh, not, it, it's not quite baseball bat. I, I would think uh, kind of a, maybe a 50s style telly, that type of a beefy neck. It's certainly the beefiest neck I've got on all my guitars, but I've got a 60s Les Paul standard and that's a thinner neck and then uh, a couple of strats with uh, you know their modern the modern C profile so uh, that uh, I do have a, uh, a semi hollow that redid the orange one I I got and I have a I put a link up here for that one that one's a little bit fatter but this is just a little this is like a I wouldn't say a U it's kind of in between a D and a U profile but it's not that bad to me. Um, let's see, uh, like some uh, lead lines, what we can get out of here. Turn the gain up. Let's get it get a little bit higher here. Uh, it, things sounds good, um, and I'll, I'll turn the gain up just a bit more. 
Uh, you know, this isn't going to be a heavy metal machine or anything with the P90. I'm sure people could coax that kind of stuff out, but let's get it to about just full blast here on, uh, now we got the boost on there too. Now what the hell, let's hit this with a fat. <laughs> sustain on this thing I mean it, it is uh, it does have some uh, some heft to it you know being a solid mahogany um, I, I if I had to guess it, it's not as heavy as my Les Paul air that that's about eight eight and a quarter this is probably an even eight if I were to guess you know it's it's mahogany it's not gonna be light it's not like poplar or anything but uh, yeah I you know this once again uh, and I gotta tell you, uh, these West Creeks are quickly becoming, you know, one of my, you know, certainly my favorite budget guitar, without a doubt. Uh, if, you know, 300 and under, I, I, I couldn't, I can't think of a better, a better guitar. Now I've got a, a, a Squire Telecaster that I got for 150. It's those uh, bullets or whatever they're they're not squired but anyways it's a telecaster i think those are running about two 220 i got it for 150 a couple years ago and those those are decent but you know the you you have those come with the pal ferro or the laurel fretboard i'm not sure and they certainly do not have as good of uh frets uh, it, as these West Creek guitars do. It's not even close as far as that's concerned. I like the Squire Telly, but, you know, for $169 and the Tellys, those Squires are going for two something. Ah, man, I, I would buy one of these all day long. Uh, you know, you can put uh, new tuners on this, but I, I don't have a problem with them. I mean, you, you heard, uh, let's see. Whoops. It's still in tune, you know. Um, I adjusted the uh, the intonation on this um, prior to doing this. It was a, a, any beginner uh, wouldn't have a problem uh, with this guitar without having to do a setup on it. I I didn't. I, the only thing I did, uh, I'll tell you, is I had to adjust. I think it was the G string. Uh, was a little flat um, and I adjusted it back a little bit and I did take the saddle on the E string up a little bit that was just my preference because as I get older I found I don't need to have as action as you know flat as a pancake so uh, anyways yeah I, I definitely recommend this thing holy smokes $169 and last I looked on my account uh, I missed the boat on this, but now they, they, it's showing a hundred thirty dollar coupon for my account. I don't think everybody gets them, but if they're one hundred sixty nine dollars. Uh, like I said, there's pink, white, and blue, um, and I, I mean they're just great guitars. I, you know, I'm two for two. I had a semi hollow, and I had this one. Now, you know, I've, I, 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 when I, when I did a, c a couple of these semi hollows, you know, people accused me of saying these were better than Gibsons or Epiphones. I never said that, you know, I, you know, I put the question up better than, you know, or, you know, whatever. It's, it's a legitimate question. Now I've played Epiphones. I've never played, I've never looked over an Epiphone that had as certainly not better fit finish than this. And there's no way in hell an Epiphone has better frets than this. And this has a bone nut on it, too. I don't know if I said that. It's bone nut, 
questionable rosewood fretboard on this one certainly rosewood here i'd like to hear from west creek if they happen to be watching this uh and see what they say i know there's guitars out there that have um ebony like fingerboard that's what this looks like and my nail did catch a, a couple of times i could feel it that was it it didn't hinder me any and i certainly would not uh, uh, let that stop anybody uh from getting uh from getting these but anyways back then i'm not saying that this is better than uh, les paul jr i'm not whether it's epiphone or certainly not uh, a, a gibson so i am not saying this is better than a Gibson, not saying that at all. But I am saying for 169 bucks, if you're a guy or a girl that likes to mod guitars, maybe you want to put a different P90 in this. I don't know. I don't know. Could you put a Bigsby on this damn thing? I don't know. What in tuners, whatever. Or if you just want to, you know, uh, like me, I didn't have a P90. Let me just buy this. See if I like P90s. Man, you can't go wrong. Or like my son, he loves this gar guitar. He's 11 years old. He's getting pretty good. Man, he loved it too. So I definitely highly recommend this for the money. West Creek DC, yeah, give them a shot. If, you're, if you've got, you know, if you uh, are in the market for a guitar like this. And give me a shot if you're not subscribed. Damn, subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. Um, I'm going to be putting out videos. I keep saying this, but... Uh, I've been kind of busy, but I'm going to be putting out more videos. Uh, that uh, Clon Clone you heard that I just played, I, I'm gonna. I've got three others, and I'm going to be doing a shootout with them. And I'm possible. I, I'm going to bring in some bass. I've got some bass guitars, so if you're into bass guitars, I've got one or two that I'm going to do a review on. One's kind of an older one, but one that you probably may not have. <laughs> I, I backed out of that one already. <laughs> Probably, I was going to say, probably haven't seen, but probably may not have seen before. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please give us a subscribe and keep rock alive.